So 1.7 was released officially, but I'm still on the beta. So I don't know if that's like 1.8, but whatever the beta update is and the fact that this game is still in beta, that's what I'm playing on right now. There's a lot of different things here. There's a lot more options, as you can see, that weren't there before and some were there before, but now there's a nicer layout, in my opinion, to these options. One of the biggest ones that I'm really, really appreciating is the selection of the frame limit. You did not have that before. You used to have to go to my NVIDIA panel, and every time there was an update, it didn't work, and it was a real pain in the effing ass. So, with that said, and I've already hit all my buttons and did all that weird stuff, let's go ahead and let's see if I remember how to play this game, because it's been a while. I've been very busy. And no offense, I haven't been playing this game for a while because, unfortunately, the performance has been not that great on my specific computer. When I first got the game a couple of months ago, it actually ran better. And for whatever reason, some of the updates that came out made the game, like, run smoother in the sense that there was less bugs and glitches. But as we take a look at my frames per second counter at the bottom, unfortunately, I'm struggling to maintain 30 FPS. Uh, we still get a little bit of texture flickers, some trees that, in my opinion, unnaturally look a little bright in some spots. So yeah, I mean, the game feels great to me. I mean, honestly, when I just kind of uh, drive around... Whoops. There we go. I'm, I'm trying to get used to my, my buttons. It's been a while since I played. Uh, I actually like the feel of this game more than Bus Simulator 21, to be honest with you. Nothing against that game. It's a wonderful game. I love it. However, I am more into this game. There's just something about the feel of it that I like, apart from the fact that I struggle to maintain the 30 FPS. Now, some people might say, oh, well, look at the weather. You've got, you know, intense weather on. Okay, so let's uh, let's pick a, a regular clear day then and see if that makes a difference because I, I could promise you, it, unfortunately, it doesn't make a difference. Watch it now stay rock steady at 30, but I'm just saying it never made a difference for me before. So again, when you look at the trees, maybe it's just me. But sometimes it looks like there's some oddball spots, like how this just got bright all of a sudden. It could end up being realistic, and it's just me. So don't don't really pay attention to what I say. I would say more pay attention to what you actually see. You make that decision for yourself as to whether or not things look a little bit off. They oh, sort of... Speak. Exactly. They sort of kind of do to me, but... This doesn't seem to be too, too bad so far. Yeah, a little dip there. But yeah, I one day, when I have a chance, uh, you know, this game is going to be, believe it or not, and a couple of others, there are going to be a few select reasons as to why I decide to upgrade my computer. Because even though I'm on an i7, 6700, non-K, not overclocked, RTX 2070 Super, there's just no need for me to upgrade. I mean, I everything else I do on my computer works fine. American Truck Simulator is my main go-to, and when I was playing World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy, I could play those on Ultra at 60 FPS while I'm streaming. So, you know what I mean by that? So, it's a game like this that's the oddball that I can't really play even at 30. Yes, of course, 60 would be better, but I will argue on a game like this. I know what you're thinking. How do I open the door? It's been so long. That's... There we go. I don't have the same hotkeys I have for... Uh... The... Or, uh, Bus Simulator 21, so sometimes it's like, wait, what? What button did I use there? And it just kind of... It kind of throws me off a little bit. There we go. 
But yeah, I mean, overall, I would definitely recommend people at least try this game out because uh, if you don't like it, you can always refund it. Right? Because on Steam, they have that, that policy there. Again, dipping down a little bit, but when you're driving, it, it doesn't really feel... I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Jarring. You know, when you play a game at 30 FPS, you're like, oof. When you're used to playing at 60? No. Well, games like Microsoft Flight Simulator and this game, for some odd reason, I don't really find the 30 FPS as jarring as, as other games. If I was playing Call of Duty at 30 FPS, yeah, I probably wouldn't like that. So anyhow... Exactly what I said earlier. I am very much excited to see the continuing progression of this game. But I am being very honest with you that as much as I appreciate this game and I'm excited for this game, I'm unfortunately probably not going to be playing it all that much. I mean, it is in early access. There's not that many routes or things that you can do. And it kind of, you know, doesn't run all that great on my computer. If I had a stronger CPU, I'd probably be able to do much better. Oops. We'll pretend like that didn't happen. Or that. So, yeah. But it's fun for, for this kind of game again. I mean, if you're if you're even remotely and interested at the idea of a game like this, it's definitely uh, worth checking out. I don't remember how to do this now. Uh, what do I do? Oh, I gotta think now. I don't I have to do math. Uh, whoops. Whoa. Single ticket, AB. Single ticket, AB. And as always, the Shin Lim teleportation magic trick into her pocket. There we are. At least I think we're done. Yeah. We are. Yeah, so as I mentioned, if you're even this far into the video... You're either off your meds or you're really into bus driving. Yes, I'm burning a red light. Get over it. And if you're wondering between this and the likes of other bus games like Omni or Oshni, whatever it's called, Omni. I've never played it, so I can't comment on it. Uh, graphically, it's not the best, but in terms of realism and all that, people swear by it. So I do know it's a, it's a good game. It's just, no offense, not quite my thing. Uh... I'm, I'm really sort of into slightly better graphics. It, I think it'd be hard for me to be invested in a game like that, but to each their own. Right? Some people can make fun of me and be like, well, what about World of Warcraft? It doesn't exactly have the best graphics. Mm. A little bit nicer than OMZ 2, though. And Bus Simulator 21, to me, as much as I like it, like I said, it feels very arcadey. This feels more simulator-like? I don't know. There's just something about it that I really enjoy. Like, in terms of just, like, cruising around and not doing much. Like, if I had to pick between this and Bus Simulator 21, let's say I had to pick... This is a big one, wait for it. And I had no performance issues. Let's say both games could run at a solid uh, 60 FPS. I would probably pick this game, maybe. But that is not a shot at Bus Simulator 21. It truly isn't. I really do like that game. It's just, I'm torn, like I said. When... This game runs well, and I'm locked at 30. And I'm not having any issues for a few moments. See, she gets me. It's just, it's incredible. But between all these games and, you know, my American Truck Simulator, I mean, nothing touches that to me. First of all, the game looks amazing. 
American Truck Simulator. It looks yeah, about as good as this, I would say, in a different kind of way. Game runs at a rock solid 60 FPS. I can have my camera on at the same time I'm playing. Can't do that with this game. Oh no, we'd be in the 20 frames per second if I did that shit. So yeah, for just driving, having fun, I would probably just stick to American Truck Simulator. Not the same kind of game, but I am still making that comparison because ultimately it's a driving game. This one we're driving passengers, the other one we're driving cargo. I could go where I want. I don't have to follow a route. Anyhow, I'm just rambling about nothing. And I'm going to do one last thing here before I call it quits. Let's go back to the storm. And let's see if the storm is affecting our FPS. I usually have the storm on because I don't like the lighting from the sun sometimes. I find it bothersome. Now I'm also driving kind of fast. And again, this is Berlin, supposed to be a one-to-one -one scale. But I have faith in this game that someday, with more optimization, more patches, uh, might run a little bit better. I'm really hoping to get that 30 FPS lock. You know what? Let me try one more thing. If you've even made it this far, chances are you're really patient. Okay, so we are full screen, 1080, V-Sync. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, you know, some of the anti-aliasing, you know. Maybe we'll put that on, you know, medium. A view distance, medium, post-processing. Post-processing, I don't, I don't like having it on, on low because that really makes the game look like poo. Ooh, even the shadows, eh? Whatever, we'll put everything on on medium. Post-processing shouldn't really have that much of a hit. Let's see if this makes a little bit of a difference. I wish there was a recommended. Now let's see how this runs. But because we know the weather's a little bit off, let's go back to clear. Because it does look like it's a little bit more stable on clear weather. Even though, in a way, it seems like there's more going on. You can see those lights flickering. Or those lights move. flickering. The aliasing looks terrible. Like, you can really tell the difference is what I'm saying. Like, wow, that makes a difference visually in how it looks. And funny enough, it, it looks like the performance is almost no worse. That actually looks really pooey. I can't, I can't do it. I'm, I'm just a snob. I've got a, I gotta crank it up. Motion blur. Yeah, we don't like that stuff. Anti-aliasing. Let's put it back to high. Post-processing. Epic. Yeah, right. Shadow quality. We'll do high material. Uh, effects quality, mirror, foliage, light distance. Now nah, we'll leave that off. And we'll crank it up some a little bit higher just to kind of see. Oh, wow. That looks nicer. Wow, what a difference that makes. And funny enough, not really noticing a performance impact either. And that's another thing I want to touch base on before I leave, finally. And I leave you alone. Don't ask, but I'm gonna say it. Rarely, but sometimes, turning up the graphics can sometimes give you better performance. Sometimes. Or it just won't really affect it as much as it should. And I think the reasoning behind that is different. I don't know what technical word you want to use. Assets or whatever. The way, you know, computers work. It's a technical thing. Sometimes lowering the settings does things because it's using a different type of shadow or whatever. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work well. 
Ah. You cheap bastard. There you go. Now get out. A, B, C, L, M, N, O, P. And, uh, A, B, C. Right, there you go. Whoa, what was that? There we go. And that also brings up the other point of optimization. Sometimes the proof that a game is poorly optimized is when you change the settings drastically. But the performance is essentially the exact same. That's when you know there, there's something not fully correct there. But yeah. So I think that's going to be it for this. I think I'm just going to save the game here. And maybe with the next update, I'll check it out again. Or maybe I'll play a bit some more, I don't know, at some point. I do know that if I can get this game to run properly, I would be so happy. It would be unbelievable. We're going to create a save. Let's see, we still get... Still get the odd little thing like that. All right. If you liked the video, thumbs up. Didn't like it, thumbs down. I'll run over your foot and break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be great now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and perhaps I shall see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.